In today's video tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate a sweet and simple cake design that would be perfect for young birthdays. Okay, so for our giraffe, I've rolled out some gum paste to about an eighth of an inch thickness. And if it's super soft, you can let it set up for a few minutes so it won't stretch quite as much as you're cutting it out. Um, but I'm just going to lay it right here and I'm using an X-Acto knife and we'll just quickly cut out our shape. Okay, so I'm just going to peel away the excess at this point. And I wanted to mention when I was creating my template, I made it so it was nice and tall. I know that our double barrel cake is going to be probably around seven inches tall. And so this is slightly taller than that. Uh, but you can adjust the size of your giraffe based on the size of cake that you're going to be making. So here is our basic cutout, and you can neaten it up as you need to. Um, I'm going to let this dry, and with my gum paste pieces, I let them dry on either a parchment lined cookie sheet, or you can dust the cookie sheet with a little uh, a light coating of shortening and then a dusting of powdered sugar. So here is a giraffe that I cut out yesterday, and I'm just going to paint it now so i have my palette here i have vodka in the little well if you don't want to use vodka you could use uh, lemon extract and we're just going to paint this as if we were painting watercolors it's the same look so i'm just using my lemon yellow And you can see here at the top, this will be the party hat. So I'm going to be painting that a different color than the rest of the giraffe. Okay, and then for the spots on the giraffe, I'm using my orange Americolor coloring gel mixed with a little vodka. And I'm just making lots of different brush strokes, mainly triangular shapes or squares, but really just go with whatever works for you. And then for the mane, the mane is optional, but I think it's cute. So I just cut strips of our orange gum paste and fringed that. And now I'm just adding a little bit at a time using piping gel as my glue. I'm also doing the same thing for the party hat little details. I have a little fringed ball that I'm going to add to the top of the party hat. And you can also see where I have some fringe around the base, just using gum paste that's tinted with Americolor Electric Green. And then for the tail, that's just a little snake of our gum paste that's flattened on the end. And once again, we just fringed it just a little bit. Okay, so the fun part is always adding the little features to the face. So I've done that with a food writer pen and just a little bit of rosy cheeks with some light pink petal dust. The cake that I'm working on today is a six inch double barrel cake. It's four cake layers with a cake board halfway up and then four bubble tea straw supports beneath. And then you can see that I've already added a cute little grass border around the base. And that's just our buttercream that was piped with a tip 233 grass tip. Okay, so now we're gonna make the pedestal for our cake. You wanna make a snake of fondant that is as wide as you want your bottom tier to be. And we have two balls of our blue fondant and then a smaller snake to represent the base of the pedestal. And now it's just a matter of attaching it to the cake. So starting at the bottom, I'm using just a little bit of piping gel, or you can use a little bit of frosting if you'd rather, and just gently press it onto the cake. If you've chilled your cake, which is always a good idea, so the buttercream will be firm if you need to readjust anything, there might be enough condensation on the cake that you could skip the piping gel step. So just see what works for you. But this is just a super simple way of creating a cute little pedestal. Okay, so now it's time to start working on our bottom tier. And this is just going to be rows of ruffles. I'm using a tip 101 that's just a basic teardrop shape ruffle tip. And you just want to make sure that the small end of that opening 
is pointed downward. So you'll get a nice thin edge to your ruffles. And just using that back and forth motion, uh, you'll just work row by row from left to right until your tier is as tall as you'd like. So for me, I think probably about five rows is good for me. But go with whatever works for you and the size cake that you're working with. And then we're going to move on to the next tier. Um, so this time we're using a small star tip and we're just going to be piping lots and lots of stars. So we're just going to, just as before with the ruffle tier, we're going to work from left to right, just piping our stars and we'll just build up row by row until the tier is as tall as we want it to be. Okay, and then finally for our last tier, I'm just using our Americolor Electric Green Tinted Buttercream and we're piping lots of rosettes. We're doing that with a small star tip 15. And basically what you'll do is you'll start piping at the bottom and you'll circle around clockwise and then just release the pressure. And once again, we're just going row by row until you reach the height that looks proportional. And next, around the top of the cake, I'm adding a quick shell border with a tip 21. For the candle on top of the cake, I'm just using a real candle with a little teardrop fondant flame. You can just attach it with a little buttercream or a little piping gel. And I did cut it so it's a little bit shorter so it would be more in proportion with the cake. I always like to add little confetti sprinkles whenever I can. I just think it's a cute touch. So I did add sprinkles around the top of the cake, on the cake base, and you can see I even added some confetti sprinkles to the blue tier. I just attached those with a little bit of piping gel. Okay, and to balance things out on the left side of the cake, I wanted to make a quick present. So to do that, I have my yellow square of gum paste and then a quick bow. Um, so for the bow, we did a thin strip of pink down the front and then we're doing a little strip of gum paste for each loop. So we'll just add one loop on each side with a little piping gel and then the tails also. Okay, so that is our present and you can either attach it to the cake with buttercream while it's still soft or if you'd rather firm it up a little bit so that it can stand up more on its own, that's a really cute look also. Now it's time to add our sweet little giraffe to the cake. So to do that, I just added a little bit of buttercream to the back in just the places that are going to come in contact with the cake and then just give it a really gentle press down. Okay, so our cake is finished. I love how it came out. I think our giraffe is so sweet and as you saw, simple to create. So hope you'll give this cake design a try. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.